Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I have been <laughs> listening to this uh, very uh, impressive, these very impressive, this very impressive collaboration, um, which uh, apparently has bipartisan support even here. I note that uh, this this Great Lakes restoration um, effort is not authorized, but it has been funded. Um, it appears that the federal government is um, the major uh, actor pressing forward using its full expertise with working groups and federal agencies. And one is left to wonder if uh, other areas, somebody mentioned Chesapeake, for example, if this kind of collaboration and uh, effort driven by the federal government, the EPA and other agencies, is occurring in other watersheds? Or is the, are we hearing a unique effort that has not been exported? Mr. Uh, perhaps Koleski, Mr. Kramer might be able to speak to that. So, Mr. Chairman, uh, Representative, I, I do know that we, for example, have had conversations with the Chesapeake Bay program, which has problems similar. They're different, but they have nutrient problems uh, that show up in different ways. Mm -hmm. And not that long ago, we spent a couple hours on the phone with them sharing our practices about what we were trying to do to reduce nutrient loadings into water bodies, and, and that was very helpful. There is a Chesapeake Bay program within EPA um, as a separate a uh, separate line item in the budget, I believe. So we have worked with them. We're aware of other geographic programs which are receiving funding from EPA. Um, but uh, are the results that you obtain uh, repeated anywhere else, or are we talking about a unique effort? I understand the huge importance, massive importance, of this major water supply, the Great Lakes. I'm trying to find out whether it's unique or not, particularly since it's driven by the federal government. I know that federal dollars are being directed to other programs. That I know. I'm trying. To, I'm looking at the impressive results uh, that have been attained here, Mr. Gomez. Do you have any notion of whether we're talking about a unique effort, completely federally driven? It seems to me, by one of the great watersheds. You couldn't do without it. Sure. Uh, so what, anywhere else? What What I can mention is GAO has actually looked at. Um, at ecosystem restoration efforts around the country. Uh, it was mentioned already, Chesapeake Bay. We've looked there. And they have a slightly different organizational structure. The state there is a partner with, with uh, the federal agencies, and other um, entities are also key partners. Um, the Great Lakes is slightly organized differently. Uh, we've looked also at the Florida Everglades restoration efforts in years past where, again, it's very much managed by the state, the feds, and tribes. Um, I mean, the Great hey, Lakes is obviously... Isn't that different here? This is, the, the, you know, the, the federal government is the driver here, isn't it? Yes, correct. And one, one of the problems in Chesapeake Bay is, I don't know, it's the same huge number of states, but where they are the leadership with, with water that crosses state lines, it doesn't, it doesn't appear to me that we get results anywhere in the ballpark of what we're seeing here with this federally driven uh, project. Um, Representative, if I may, one of the things that I would emphasize is that while the GLRI funding is federal funding and the interagency task force and the regional working group are made up of the federal departments, um, a large reason for the success in the Great Lakes Basin is because we do partner very closely with states. The How did you states. get the states? <laughs> who obviously have different uh, interests, just as they do in the Chesapeake Bay, uh, to collaborate except for the force of the federal government, its money and its, and its expertise behind this project. Representative, I think it's because they realized the GLRI brought an opportunity for significant change and the significant what? improvement. An opportunity for significant change. Yeah, what change. brought it, the Great Lakes? What, what did you say brought this opportunity? The GLRI and the states recognizing that through our That's grants and providing them yeah. with funds and working with them, that jointly we could get a tremendous amount of work done. I think it was federal leadership, Mr. Korleski. I think it's very difficult 
when you say to the Chesapeake Bay, are you nine states? I mean, there's something like that. You get together. You, this is one of the great wonders of the world. And together, figure out what to do about it. You have your own budgets, your own priorities. Uh, and everyone speaks about how extraordinary uh, this is. But what you don't have is the kind of leadership that the federal agencies uh, have given to this extraordinary project with extraordinary results. And you've not been able to name a single other project which has had similar results. And I would, uh, with knowing nothing, I would uh, hazard a guess that it's because it hasn't had the same federal le leadership that this project has had. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Owen. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr.